Yo, what's going on guys? It's me, the Ninja Reviewer here, and after a couple weeks without no chapter, we are here today for One Piece! Oh, wait, hold on. Oh. Okay, now it's like I'm head on. One piece. Ep uh, not episode. Wow. <laughs> wow, not episode. Um, chapter eight hundred and fifty-three. Live react slash review. Not here. I don't know what they mean by not here, but um, I don't know about that. But I guess you know we are going to find out. So basically, you know, we have our cover page here, and it's got. Basically, uh, fucking Bartolomeo, and he's crying over, like, with some turtles or something. Sea turtles bawling their eyes out as they listen to Bartolomeo and Gamba recount with tears in their eyes. And he does of the straw. <laughs> uh, and of course, Bartolomeo still getting the biggest fucking heart on for goddamn Monkey D. Still wants that fucking D, of course. It's, it's obvious he's thinking about that D. He's obviously thinking about... How great it was for that honor to stand close. So, yeah, here we. Oh wow, we didn't even get a extra color page. Oh, okay, cool. Okay, we didn't get all the deviant art shit. I'm actually quite surprised. I guess we're saving it for later. But anyways, cool. All right, we're in. Nice. Finally, after a couple weeks, shit. The treasure room. A rejoicing voice rings out, "Mama, but you won't be able to defeat." Wait, what the fuck? Wait a minute, wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Is the hat fucking talking right now? Bro. Bro. The hat is fucking talking. Yo. The hat is talking, man. What the actual fuck? So we were right about... You know how we noticed the eyes and the eye movements of Big Mom's hat. So we were basically right that there was something fishy going on. And let her know, bam, Napoleon by the Bicorin. Napoleon the Bicorin. But you won't be able to defeat these three. Wait, what the fuck? Oh, wait, 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 hold on. I didn't read the other part. Shit. Oh, no. Oh, no! Oh, dude, no, no, oh, no, <laughs> oh, no, oh, this big bitch, why, 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 oh, my God, oh, no, no, mm, shit, hold on, no, man, no, run, bro, Oh my god, she's getting pet. He's getting pet. Fuck. No, Brooke. No. We barely knew you, man. Shit. Oh my god. No way. <sighs> and it looks like Brooke. <sighs> Fucking. Oh my god. My homie, man. He is getting the most ridiculous treatment ever. Pet, pet. Every last part of him is bones, and yet he's alive, a miracle. Your fighting was quite wonderful. Two, Soul King. So Big Mom got his fucking soul? And which is why Brooke lost? It seems the chess soldiers are absolutely terrified of you, Mama Mama. To date the Soul King himself, you're their archimy. And of course, like I said before, the hat. Fucking talking. Napoleon. They're special. Zeus the Thunderhead. Prometheus the Sun. 
Shit. They're basically my clones. Sorry. They're basically my clones. I've given them my soul directly. The level of their souls is completely different. <laughs> uh, we've completed our investigation. Mama. There's nothing in his clothes. And there's nothing in the cylinder either. He didn't steal a thing. Mama, 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 mama. Then I guess everything's okay, so King. This is so disgraceful. <laughs> oh my god, no! Brooke, oh, I feel so fucking bad for him. Shit, I feel so bad for Brooke. Pray for Brooke. We, we, we need to pray for him right now. <sighs> Come on, man. Shit, alright. <sighs> Moving on. How embarrassing. Sorry for suspecting you. Wait, 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 what? So he's just gonna let him go? Dead ass like that. Leave alone the Tenka Boka. Even a the Tempano Boka. Even a rubbing of the Poneglyph. There's no way I let any of that uh, that get stuff stolen from under my nose. If someone were to make off with those things and find their way to Rafto again, I look like an idiot, right? <laughs> I won't ever make the same mistake I did back then with Roger. With fucking wait, so does that mean Big Mom met Roger many decades ago, and she actually lifted and fucked up, and he became king of the pirates? Shit. So she has failed before. So it's a possibility Luffy in the gang could actually succeed. That okay? He used some strange power. Oh, oh wow! The power to wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Wait, what the fuck? He used some strange power that involved hearing the voice of all things. Or something to read that damn thing. So, Gold Roger. No! Okay, so... Whoa, dude. So, Gold Roger... So, with the ability to hear of all things... He used that ability to actually read the entire thing. He was like, fuck it, I don't need to steal it because I know exactly where to fucking go. Without a fucking translator. That is fucking crazy, dude. Oh my. Th this is why, man, Gold Roger has this ridiculous OP ability, man. Fucking almost as OP as broken shit. But we've got our own ace in the hole that will one day develop that same power through. Monkey D. Luffy. She's gotta be obviously talking about Luffy, which we already know that. We're going to be the next ones to make it to Rapto. Mama. Oh, my cute pudding. I was just talking about you, and here you are. Oh, this bitch. Fuck you, pudding. Fuck you. Fuck you. What's the matter? Did you third eye manage to achieve true opening? True opening? Ah, oh, come on, Mama. There's all you ever talk about. I'm a half-breed, you know. There isn't even any guarantee that I ever win. Wait. Achieve true opening. What the fuck does that mean? Achieve true opening. How? What the fuck are we hiding now from fucking pudding? How fucking broken is pudding? Like, literally. Shit. Oh my god. How fucking broken can she really. Oh, oh sorry, but there's no denying the fact that you got the blood of the strange third eye tribe running in your veins. Oh, pudding. Is it three eyes? Uh, must have left on that. We're a queen. No, oh, what? Well, hold on. What the fuck? Is it three eyes? Ah, mustn't left on that. We're acqu acquainted. What the fuck does that mean, Brooke? What are you talking about? That bone man made it all the way out here? Well, he's been captured. Should be fine. Say, Mama, I want to talk to you about something, but it's a bit embarrassing to say here. Can we go to your room? Oh, uh, sure, okay, let's go. Okay, so he's, uh, she's obviously talking about what has been happening, probably will rage you. Oh, and we're switching again, okay. We're switching again? What the actual fuck? Oh, we're switching. Oh, okay, alright, alright, okay, 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 yeah! Okay, okay, okay. I wanted to see the rest of this fucking fight. Yes, alright. This is the other fight I wanted to see. Third floor courtyard. <laughs> what the fuck? What the hell? Wait, time ago, time ago. What the fuck? His form is like a fucking like um uh, a chicken or something. Yeah, it looks like it's a fucking chicken or like a bird. So, wait, Tamago is a fucking Zoan type as well. I 
I was fucking not aware of that. So he's like what? Like a fucking Zoan type? Can he... Did he work under Kaido back then? No, no, no. There's just no fucking way. But what the hell though? <laughs> it looks so funny though. It's even more funnier than that fucking pigeon thing that my boy Lucci actually had. Like holy shit. And, then, and what the hell? It just looks like he just fucking sliced him like already. Viscount Chick. Viscount shit, what the f Is he sprinting out another egg? Wait, what the fuck? Well, he is like an Eggman, like Dr. Eggman, so I... I don't know, like... So, what the fuck? So he split out like eggshells, egg yolk, so I'm guessing he's like an egg type user? So maybe he's not a Zoman type, maybe that's just part of his devil fruit where he's like an egg user. <laughs> so he's hatching up another chick, I guess. Whoa, are these cries? What will it happen? His next evolution? Next evolution. <clears throat> Count Chicken. How stupid. I'll just finish him off now. Stop that. Yeah, Pedro's like, yeah, fuck that. I ain't wasting any time. Who knows what the hell can happen. But what the actual fuck, man? So what kind of evolution is he playing? From Baron Egg to Viz Count Chick and then to Count Chick? Every time it breaks, he's reborn stronger. The Tama Tama no Mi, which I'm assuming is some kind of egg egg no Mi fruit. Oh, Duke Chicken is a true knight. <laughs> Duke Chicken, yeah. When you have a name like Duke Chicken, it sounds like you're more of a coward than anything else, you know, I'm just saying. But the evolution forms are, are quite cool though, I'm not gonna lie. If he evolves, you'll be nothing more than dust at his feet. Stop him. I don't feel like waiting around. Fuck that, no. So Pedro, not giving a fuck. Pedro not giving a fuck. <laughs> but yo, Pedro was a savage. He's just going straight in. He's like, dude, do you really think I'm going to wait and see what the fuck this monster is going to form? Fuck that. I'm just going to go right now and just fucking destroy the egg before it hatches. All right. It ends here, I guess. What the? Whoa. Bombs. You bastard. What the fuck? He has bombs. Yo, Pedro going full Fucking suicide bomber, man. What the fuck? What in the actual fuck? He has bombs. He's ready to go. He's ready to go. He's like, yeah, man. I got the explosive. Let's fucking go, bitch. Oh, shit. Yo, yo. Fucking Pedro, man. Pedro. Yo. Fucking Pedro. Pedro. He's insane. There are a lot of you soldiers clustered around here. This fucking cheetah, the cheetah man, this dude is insane. As a decoy, I couldn't wish for anything more. So he's committing fucking suicide? I mean, granted, you know, Big Mom did take most of his life, so... Is he going fucking full suicide bomber? Like a fucking suicide bomber? What the actual fuck? So, okay. Cluck, cluck, what the fuck? And he's trying to raise up, what is he gonna be a fucking, what is he gonna <laughs> what the fuck, time ago? What the fuck? What are you a fucking? You're gonna be a rooster now, dog? Like, what the hell is this? Oh my god! Oh my god! And we're switching again. Shit, we're switching again. Wait, wait, maybe not. Wait, we kind of are, sort of, but not really. Hello, we're actually here. Mirror world. Whoa, that was close. You're insane, sheesh. That you scared the crap out of me, Pedro. What the fuck, fucking Pedro? Oi, Pedro. So wait, did fucking, um, Carrot actually draw that part of the mirror? Because she did say she was a fucking artist, so, I don't know. I was the one surprised to tell you the truth. Who would ever expect being called to from inside the mirror? But you still managed to come up with a plan like this in barely a few seconds. You're amazing, Pedro. So I guess we're actually inside the mirror now. Kind of hard to believe. Yeah, it is. It's weird as shit. And pretty OP. People can't enter or leave this world without Bruli. We're safe here. We can save Sanji this way too. Tell us what you know. <clears throat> what? Luffy and Nami got captured? <laughs> what? Luffy and Nami got captured? Yeah, that's what I heard. I'm worried about Brook too. I just hope he managed to get that rubbing of the Poneglyph. Everyone's in trouble. We gotta hurry. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Tell us where these people are. Oh, God, what the... 
Okay, okay, wait, wait, okay. I take it back about, okay. So she's not really Conjuro level, but she's really, I mean, it's something. It's a weird divine kind of art, but I'll take it. And why the fuck is Luffy a fucking girl? Why is she a woman? With a scar, with lips. What the fuck, even Sanji is a fucking woman with- Oh my god, no! Oh, that's taking me back, no! That's taking me back to the new comma world and shit. Oh god, I do not even want to live that, because my poor Sanji- What the fuck? Brooke looking like straight up Marge Simpson! Yo, Brooke's rocking the Marge Simpson hair! What the fuck? What the fuck, Brooke? Brooke. Straight up looking like goddamn Marge Simpson up in this bitch, and I don't know what the fuck. Uh, uh what, what is that supposed to be, Pedro? What the fuck is that, Pete? Never mind. I don't even know. Oh god, the long-haired girl just ran by me. Whoa, the marriage is full. Oh, it's Nami. Okay, so it's not Lu. Well, no, 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 because that's Nami right there. And that's why are they all fucking feminine? And what the fuck? <laughs> fucking Brooke looking like Marge, but where are we moving on? Well, the mirror just spoke. What's so Nami's escape? Is Luffy with her? She's with boss Jimbei. J Jimbei? And they're just a surprise that Jimbei's there. Sanji requesting minutes or class backup. We can't stop Straw Hat. Where are you? Third floor of Boom. Okay, Luffy and Jimbei. They're just still there, going at it, still kicking some ass. Kind of reminds me of Impel Down, sort of. Like, the way that part's actually still- And what the hell? Who the fuck just grabbed Luffy? Oh god, who the fuck just grabbed Luffy? Uh-oh. I can only imagine that's not gonna be good. But, let's just see. He's been grabbed to the- Oh, it's Nami! No, no, it's not Nami! Oh! Reiju? Reiju! Oh, shit! Reiju! Oh, you're still standing, girl! Okay, so there you are. So, hello. So, I think she's going to warn Luffy of what's going to happen, but he probably already know. How fast is this guy? Where the hell did he go? Don't let him get away. You, Sanji's sister? Yes. What was that for? I'm in a hurry here. You're looking for Sanji, aren't you? He was here till but a moment ago. What, really? Where'd he go? We've been tricked by Pudding. Sanji's by Pudding. She, she said she's going to go kill him. Ah, are you okay? Did you get hurt? <laughs> Thank you, I'm okay. Whoa, damn. Oh, okay, so... Shit, so she pretty much suffered a bit of a blow, but sh I guess she's, like, doing okay. And what the hell, is she wearing no pants? Oh, we see a fucking panty shot? Like, what the actual hell? Or is that something else? I don't know. Hoo -hoo. Thank you, I'm okay. As for putting my little brother knows. What? He knew about all this? No, he learned about it just now. I tried to convince him to just run from here, but Sanji's hung up on the hostages and he's blue, and you all. He doesn't want you to be harmed. Those hostages, there's the people on the Barate, right? I know them too. If they're really in danger, I'll even go to East Blue if I have to. I'll save them. Would you like something to eat? Oh, nope, he ain't gonna accept it. Nope, not gonna accept that shit, because obviously he wants a home-cooked meal from freaking Sanji. It's obvious, because he loves his cook. He's on a hunger strike. N no, I'll only I'll only eat food you... M oh, my God. Yeah, only for fucking Sanji, which makes sense. But I see. So Sanji knows about pudding, huh? I'm glad he wasn't tricked. Wow, okay, so Luffy's taking it quite well, so he actually is glad that he actually knew him. So, so knows about pudding, huh? I'm glad he wasn't tricked. Everything besides that's already been done. Okay, thanks, Sanji sister. Whoa, where are you going? That's our promised place is not here. Yo, our promised place is not here. Holy shit. But we still got I'm still worried about Brooke though, so I think Oh my god, and Luffy jumps out the fucking window like a madman. Well, obviously it's Luffy, so I'm not surprised. Jumping out there like a fucking madman. Do you not care if those man, if this man loses his head? You're the sacrifice, Sanji. As long as you don't turn away, everything will turn out just peachy, Sanji. Bullshit, and it's all going back to the flashback. It's all bullshit, and he just realized. 
And tomorrow's morning ceremony, the Vince will will be slaughtered. There's no going back now. Luffy. Shit. Wait a minute. Is he really going to accept terms after what he said? It's like, fuck it. But no, he just. Something just fell from the sky. It's Luffy, obviously. Oh, my house. Okay. Oh, last page. Oh, god damn it. This is the last page already. God damn, this chapter was fucking short. Oh, man. I wanted this chapter to be a lot longer, but you know what? It is what it is. Something just fell from the sky. And it's obviously fucking Luffy, so it's obvious. My house. And damn, a house just got fucking destroyed. I gotta wait for him at that place. Hungry, but hoping. One Piece. Oh, thank God no break. Yes. Yeah, okay, I guess because it was... Okay, thank the Lord. All right, so no break. Definitely a chapter next week, so... That's pretty fascinating. And again, no DeviantArt stuff. I'm actually really surprised. So, that's basically it. Wow. So, we learned a lot about how Roger was able to sneak upon the Poneglyphs the last time from Big Mom. And that was basically because he had the ability to hear all things. Meaning, he can... The, the voices... I hear voices! Yo, on some Randy Orton shit right now, man. They talk to me. Talk to me, talk to me. Like, really, they do. And <clears throat> so this is the review portion I'm doing. So it's like, damn. So on some Randy Orton shit, he can hear the fucking voices in his head. He really can. And it told him what the Poneglyphs actually said. And Big Mom was really pissed because that's how he was able to get most of the world Poneglyphs. And he was able to go to Rafto and whatnot. But Luffy... Even though he has the ability to hear all things, I don't know if it's going to be the same kind of... Because it says that Big Mom, that someone else is going to be able to unlock that particular power. And we know she's definitely talking about Luffy. Luffy, obviously, he already has it. It's a possibility he already... I'm pretty sure he's aware of it, unless he's not. But I'm pretty sure he, like, sort of knows. I mean, I'm pretty sure also that, uh, that Rayleigh uh, must have told him at some point. Oh, hold on. Yeah, then we have like the third eye tribe thing that Sh Big Mom mentioned. The whole big, the third eye tribe thing on some like, on some fucking Yu Yu Hakusho shit. So I don't know exactly what that is fucking all about, but shit, man, fucking the third eye fucking tribe. Whoa. Um. Okay. So the third eye tribe. That is very fascinating as well. Very fascinating. Also, the battle between Pedro and Tamago. So, we don't know if Pedro is actually still up and about from that explosion. I mean, again, if Pell can survive a fucking nuke, I'm pretty sure Pedro can survive all those explosions. Unless he only did it just to end the whole evolution of Tamago, which is a big possibility is probably what he did but it may not have happened because he probably still hatched regardless so now we also know also more about tamago's power which is fucking weird as hell like it's so freaky though it's like evolutions of all these different birds like chickens i don't know what's next it'll be a fucking it looks like a rooster my guess is going to be a full-fledged his third form is going to be like a rooster which is probably going to be that so he is really the Eggman. That's what he is in a weird... It's like an egg-egg evolution for... I don't know what the fuck. I'm, I'm gonna assume it's like egg-egg no me or something. But regardless though, yeah. It's a weird funky power, but you can obviously tell. It's not... I mean, yeah, it's pretty damn strong. But I don't... I think his third final form is gonna be like the one that might take out. Because Pedro's a pretty strong meek warrior himself. So he was able to take on Tamago with not much of a problem. So it seems like... Tamago, he may or may not lose like that quickly, and it's kind of a bit of a shame because, I mean, he is a pretty powerful ass dude, but I don't know. We just have to see, you know, more in action from him and his powers and whatnot. So, do you know there's that. So, we got that going, and Sanji and them just. I'm not Sanji and them. Uh, well, Luffy and the gang, you know, just. Oh, man. Ah, uh, ah, oh, dude. So. You know, Luffy just doing his thing, and then Reiju finally just tells him, grabs him in the room. About now, that was actually really cool. How we learned more information about that. 
So that was pretty cool that we learned more information about that. That was actually really awesome. That now that Luffy is so much more aware, especially the ones on East Blue as well. He goes, no matter what happens, even if I have to go to East Blue with him, I will do whatever it takes in order to actually um, to save Sanji, no matter what. And he wants to meet up at that same place. That is the place that he wants to meet Sanji so he can able to get the food that he needs, the supplies, in order for him to actually become more wild and pretty much wreck shit. So... I don't know what's gonna happen with the Vin Smokes. Maybe there's gonna be some like all out controversy between them and the Big Mom Pirates. It's a possibility, but we just don't know. So, so Luffy is already in. He's already waiting at the place. He's still very hungry. Won't accept Raju's food. Sanji is saying that I have nowhere, I, I'm no turning back now. So I'm really hoping this doesn't mean he's gonna go with this damn wedding ceremony, regardless of what's gonna happen. But, I don't know, because I guess it's because, because after what he said to Luffy, maybe he's not going to join the, maybe he's saying like, oh, I'm not going to join the crew anymore, because, you know, from what I said, whatever, etc. So, we don't know. So, with that being said, though, that is pretty much it when it comes to uh, this chapter, uh, when it comes to the fight. Overall, I'm going to give it a solid clean, I mean, yeah, there was a bit of jumping, oh, the Mirror World stuff, right. So, Pedro, well, actually, wait, wait, no, 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 Pedro is, is in the Mirror World, wait. You know chopper so so he did at least survive you know that little explosion thing and fucking at least he was able the uh, chopper and, and and carrot were able to finally get him out and the weird portrait fucking funny as shit so that being said though so at least we know pedro is still still doing pretty well despite those explosions so pretty damn well so time goes from it's like a rooster or something probably but again he escaped through the mirror world so it's like shit he escaped, so it's a big possibility that he's not going to be able to fight um, Pedro unless he can find a way to go to the Mirror World himself. That will be pretty bonkers. But that's pretty much it. So overall, I give the chapter a solid, clean 5 out of 5 chapter. There was a lot of crazy shit that went down. I feel bad for Brooke. Pray for the, for the Soul King. Pray for his soul to be alright. Now, unless he hit it inside like his fucking skull or something... Like, you know, like a skull joke thing. Yo, imagine if he did. Bro, that would be the smartest thing Brooke has ever done. If that would be the case. But we shall see how that goes. Until then, though, that is basically it. I am done. Thank you so much. This chapter was pretty much on point. Because we got a lot of shit that happened in this chapter. Uh, we did progress, you know, with a lot of things in this chapter. We learned a very... Really interesting theory, a very interesting thing about Third Eye Tribe, Roger, the fight that was going on with Tamago and Pedro. So, yeah, so we got that going. Until then, that's basically it. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys next week for Chapter 854, Live React Slash Review. Until then, this is Ninja Reviewer signing out saying, Peace, Soul, Love, Chicken Grease, and Sky is the Limit, God Enderu, ha ha ha. And the manga fans, keep supporting much, reading what you watch, and I'll see you guys next week for chapter 854.